All right, guys, today's job, I want to change the spark plug in the WR. And while I'm at it, I might just check the valve clearances. First thing you're going to do, take the seat off, tank off, so we get to the rocket cover. I think I'll give this a good blow down when you get rid of all the dirt. Just going to take the plug out. Okay, so I finally got the bloody plug out of there. Just looking at it, it looks very black, which to me seems to be very rich. It's the old one compared to the new one. It is actually very worn. I can see the pin on it is on the old one is very low, so probably I should have changed this a while ago. I've had the bike for two years and I've never done nothing to it really. Alright, so I'll put the new one back in. There's no bloody hole or anything can get in there. It's a pretty hard spot to actually get into this. I don't know what I make them straight under the frame. You can't lift out the bloody socket. All right, so five mil alloy key. Jeez, that looks spotless. Right, so I just brought it out in the light so, because I could not see inside. What you want is your lobes either out or in so there's no pressure on the cap. Now to get in here you need a really thin bloody filler gauge. So that is like a 0.10 mil and I cannot get that under so that means that is a bit close. I can't even see in them ones. Oh, that one's alright. These two valves here are a little bit under spec. Um, from what I read, it's meant to be between 0.10 and 0.15 mil for the inlet, and between 19 and 22 for the exhaust. If that is correct. We're going to measure a point 20. Exhaust. She's a bit tight. 
I'll try point 15. If it, that doesn't fit, then I really know they are closed up. Well, that fits, no worries. So it's not too bad on the exhaust. Exhaust is pretty good actually, but to get to the inlet is very difficult. So the inlet is only just slightly under, under spec, but I, I don't think I'm going to worry about it at this stage. So I don't have any shims or anything to replace it with. So overall it's not too bloody bad this motor. Alright, I'm just going to whack it back together now, then I might have a look at the carby. Just want to show the inside of the rocket cover. Just have a look how clean that is. It's like bloody brand new. There's no wear on the uh, guide. Chain hasn't been slapping. It's all set on pretty good. I'm just going to start this up, see if it runs any different before I pull the carby apart. Should be enough fuel in the bowl. It's always had this bit of a rough idle. I played around with the mixture screw. So I might pull the bloody carby off and uh, have a look at the jetting. <coughs> Alright, so I've undone the carby. There's a bit of a bucket to get back, so I'm just going to gently use a bloody crowbar. Just pull her out like so. Crap in the bottom, I think that's probably from just sitting around. I'll blow that out.
All right, guys, so I've taken the cowbie apart. It did have a lot of crap in the bottom of that bowl. I think that was just from sitting around too long. Um, I really thought that jetting was going to be different in this. From what I can see, the pilot jet is a 42, which I think is standard. The main jet, it's got a 170 in it. I'm not sure if it should have a bigger one or not, but I don't know. I've been looking on the forums, reading and reading, and I cannot get a straight answer. You put in standard 05 WR250 jetting, but all you get all this other bullshit. So I don't really know what is standard. So all I can really do is clean it out, put it back together, and um, it'll probably run the same. Funny idle. All right, we'll get back to it. All right, so this bike is all back together now. Seems to be running all right. I end up turning out the mixture a uh, fair bit. If you ever want to get into your mixture screw, this is just a screwdriver bit. But um, I managed to get up there. I had the mixture screw set at one and a half, and I think I've now got it about two and a half. And I was able to turn the idle down a lot more. It seems to run all right.